Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Passport 2400BH. It's going to be a nice, uh, short, easily towable bunkhouse, great for the family. Let's go ahead and start off on some of the outside features and a little bit later we'll go ahead and head on in. So we'll start right up front. You're going to have two 20 pound propane tanks in here with your propane tank cover. Great thing about the cover, it's nice easy access, just has these thumb screws that you can go ahead and undo, pull back, go ahead and access your tanks right there, super simple. Uh, of course we're going to have our battery tray behind that and then right behind that you're also going to have your diamond plating. So there's not currently a battery hooked up, but one thing to know when you do buy a trailer from American RV, we do go ahead and supply a battery for you as well as a sewer hose. That way can go ahead and get going kind of like a little starter kit just a nice added feature but the diamond plating here is going to be perfect stop any kind of rocks or anything that get thrown up by your tow vehicle that way it's not going to beat up your beautiful fiberglass make sure that your passport's going to stay looking nice for years to come now the passport of course as you see it is a grand touring model they're all about towability so if you take a look at the front end here it's going to have a really nice curvature to it that way it's going to be a little more aerodynamic uh, which is, of course is going to go down the road better less wind resistance which in turn is also going to give you better fuel economy and less sway. As we take a look at our pass through here, we'll go ahead and open this door up. You'll notice there you're going to have a nice big pass through compartment, really wide door so you can fit a lot of larger things in here from you know some of your uh, uh, zero gravity chairs to grills to whatever else you want to put in there. Of course it will have a light, nice finished floor and then it also does have your aluminum structure that you can see in there. That's because your passport is going to have an aluminum structure which is not only going to help uh, add a lot of strength to the unit but it's also going to help keep it nice and light again adding to that towability. If we take a look at the side of the unit, you'll notice pretty much across the entire side is going to be a power awning. So nice big power awning, super simple to use. You know, no longer do you have to have two people that are sitting here fighting with it or you know, pull this side out, run the other side, pull that out. Not at all. Power awning, touch of a button, rolls out, touch of a button, rolls back in. The great thing about it, you see a storm coming, great. Go ahead and roll it in, takes you 10 seconds, done. Uh, just again, great system to have on there. Of course, underneath that power awning, you're going to have a couple of outside speakers. Well, if you want to sit out here, jam out, listen to some music, you can certainly do that. Now that's going to be controlled by our multimedia center inside the unit, but that is going to be Bluetooth capable, so that way you can go ahead and control it remotely while you're sitting out here. Getting into the 2400 is an absolute breeze because you're going to have three steps to get into the coach. As you'll notice, the first one's nice and low to the ground, so that way if you do have bad knees, it's not going to be a knee buster. Maybe you had a knee replacement, not a problem getting in and out of this coach, especially when it's going to be aided by your uh, easy grab handle right here. Now another thing I'd like to talk about with the Passport, this is going to be an extended season camping unit. What that means is your underbelly is actually going to be heated and enclosed, uh, so that way you're not going to have to worry about your tanks, any of your lines or valves or anything freezing up on you. So if you want to camp late into the season, you can certainly do that. You don't have to have any worries. Now I was talking about towability with the front end, here's another big piece of it too. So you have the nice curved front end, you're going to have the lightweight, then right here you're going to have widespread axles. So having that, that wider spread, that wider wheelbase is going to give you uh, uh, less sway as you're going down the road, which is a great thing, the load equalization axles there. And as far as a maintenance standpoint, these are also going to be easy lube axles. That way you don't have to worry about constantly packing your bearings, less maintenance again is always a great thing when you're camping. Right here is going to be your standard 120 outlet so you can go ahead and uh, plug in right there so if you have an electric griddle or anything that you want to plug in nice and easy to do that set up a little table here and also in conjunction with that you get great outside kitchen we'll just go ahead and lift the door up you have a clip right here that just clips right in nice and simple there and then here is going to be your outside kitchen this goes ahead and pulls out and then it has a lock on either side you can go ahead and lock in place so here you're gonna have your outside uh, sink so you'll have hot and cold access of course this will be your wash basin you can just go ahead and dump that and then right here is going to be your two burner cooktop so nice and easy to use the other thing I love about this outside kitchen, you know, it doesn't take up half your sidewall and you want to talk about space, check this out. On both sides, you're going to have this excellent countertop extension. Take a look. That takes what is normally kind of looks like a small outside kitchen to a really big one, gives you a ton of prep space right there. Of course, an outside kitchen wouldn't be a real outside kitchen without a refrigerator, so you 
do have that for any condiments or beverages you want to go ahead and put in there. When you're done, it's a breeze, just go ahead, put it back in, lock it in place, good to go. So we come around the back of the Passport 2400. So of course you're gonna have a bumper. Mounted on that bumper is going to be your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's always good to have one. And if we take a look up at the top, one thing I do like about Passport as well is it's gonna have a curved exterior roof. That way you don't have to worry about standing water sitting on top. It's gonna go ahead and run to either side. And then you're gonna have your gutter system on both sides, taking it to the front and back corners. Um, so you don't have to worry about it dumping down on your campsite. Of course, we're gonna have our cable hookup right back here. As we come around to the off door side, couple things. So here's going to be your power cord. Nice, easy system right there. Um, you do get an outside, uh, outside shower here. This will have both hot and cold access, which is a huge bonus. And then this is going to be your black tank flush. So this is really neat too. Instead of having to drag a hose into your bathroom, stick it down the toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, now you can just take a hose, screw it right into here. The black tank's gonna have sprayers built in, it'll go ahead and wash it out for you. Just makes the process a lot simpler. You know, the, the less maintenance you have to do, the easier it is to set up and break down camp, the more likely you are to go. So again, things like this are a good thing to have. All right, I know the outside's great. Let's go check out the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Keystone Passport 2400BH. This particular model is going to be in our granite interior, as you can see by the design on our Udinet as well as our valances. But let's go ahead and start off on our kitchen here. I love the kitchen of the 2400BH because you get huge countertop space. Take a look, you get great prep space on here, which is gonna be aided by our sink top covers. We're gonna have our dual bowl sink here, larger bowl on the left, smaller bowl on the right, perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. And you can go ahead and flip these sink top covers over and they will double as a cutting board. Of course, when you're done, just put it back over. That way it uh, stays nice and bright white. No one will ever know. Also, you have the nice high rise uh, brush nickel faucet on here, again, in order to help aid in doing dishes. Now, not only do you get massive countertop space up top, but you also get huge storage space underneath. So we can take a look right here, open that up, you can see you get great storage space there, and you're gonna have several different access points. You have that one. This opens up, you get the storage up top here. You get these uh, fully finished white, uh, full extension drawers on here that you find in all the passports. That's gonna be great to have. And then you're gonna have additional storage right here, uh, additional access rather, right here up front. So as you can see, just a ton of access to a huge storage area. Up top, you're gonna have the, the raised panel uh, doors on here. So just beautiful doors, great woodwork. You have huge pantry space there too. Definitely something you, you have to have in your galley space. Uh, our microwave, of course, and our weight is gonna be posted on here. It's gonna be 4,760 pounds. So it is gonna be under that, under that 5,000 pound mark, making it easily towable. Underneath our microwave is going to be our fully functional hood with a light and a fan on there. And of course, beneath that is going to be our three burner Atwood cooktop. The thing I love about Atwood is you get great flame control on here. So if you wanna be a chef while you're camping, you can easily do that. Also underneath, you're going to have your oven for anything that you wanna bake. And underneath that, you have a great storage space. You can see that's huge, nice and deep, perfect for all your pots and pans. You have a nice big opening in there. That way you can go ahead and easily get them in and out. Next to that, of course, is gonna be our Dometic fridge freezer combo. We'll open that up. As you can see, you have plenty of space in there, a couple uh, uh, drawers down below, and this is going to run off both LP and electric with automatic switchover. What that means is if you're running it off LP, plug it into shore power, it'll go ahead and switch over to electric for you, saving you on your gas. Now, the heart of this model, of course, is the fact it's gonna be a bunk, uh, a bunk model. So right in the back here, we have uh, what in the industry what we call a double over double bunk. What that means is instead of just being single, it's gonna be double wide. The big advantage of that is if you do have uh, you know, some younger children, they wanna bring their friends with them, you can easily sleep two kids per bed. It's, again, plenty wide for that to happen. And it has a 300 pound weight limit, so you don't have to worry about the bunks breaking on you. 
So great space there. You'll notice you're gonna have a window, both top and bottom, as well as a light, uh, both top and bottom. One note about the lights, all the lights in the Passport are going to be LED. So that way you, uh, they're not gonna have a huge power drain, which is great. So that way you can run off battery power for a longer period of time. Also, if you notice right here in the corner on both the top and bottom bunk, you do have electrical outlets. So that's going, again, going to be perfect for the kids these days. You know, have a lot of electronic devices from cell phones to tablets to Game Boys, whatever it may be. But you can go ahead and plug that in and be able to charge that. In the back corner here, of course, we open up, we're gonna have our bathroom. So right here, you'll notice we're gonna have our, our stool, our toilet, plenty of leg room there. Uh, you get a tub shower, which is great if the kids have to take a bath, great shelving space, hand wand, and you have that uh, skylight up top. Off to the side is gonna be our mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind and underneath it. And then you're gonna have your uh, sink top vanity there, and you'll have storage underneath that as well. Now right outside of our bathroom, right here, you get a nice versatile storage space. If you take a look in here, these are going to be removable shelves, so you can take these out if you want and utilize the hanging rod if you want to put clothes in here. Um, you know, so you can hang clothes and you can have another shelf or two for folded clothes or you can just use this as extra pantry space. So great versatile space can do whatever you would like with it. Now right here, as you'll notice, we do have a slide. So again, this is a huge deal when you think about that weight. Under 4,800 pounds and you get a slide on here really opens it up. In that slide is gonna be our very large u dinette, which again is perfect for the family so everyone can sit around, enjoy a meal together. Maybe you wanna do a puzzle, play a board game, whatever it may be, you can easily do that in this space. Also, if you have additional guests that wanna stay with you that aren't able to sleep in the bunks, not a problem. Both of these posts will come out. This table will drop down and this will uh, form into a nice big bed that has plenty of room for two full grown adults. Also, you have windows all around here. Uh, you know, letting in a lot of natural light really brightens up the space. Then while you're sitting in the dinette, maybe it's a rainy day, you want to be able to watch a little TV, not a problem. The Passport 2400 is going to come with one. That way, again, you can sit there, watch TV. If you want to watch a movie, that's not a problem either because right here you're going to have your Jensen Multimedia Center, which is not only going to be a radio and CD player, but also a DVD player. That way you can go ahead and pop that in, go ahead and watch the movie right here. Also, we were outside. I did mention how you could play music out there. Uh, again, that's going to be controlled through this unit that has the Bluetooth capability. Right next to that is going to be our command center, which will have all our tank levels on there as well as uh, water heater controls. One thing of note on the Passport 2400, this does have uh, a water heater that can run off either LP or electric, or you can actually turn them both on at the same time for higher recovery in case everyone you know has to take a shower back to back to back. Uh, but again, you know, on and control, slide control, everything you want is going to be right there. Right up top here, you're going to have your tinted glass, great storage space up there. And then you will have a little shelf here, which will have a plug in there and additional storage underneath. All right. Why don't we go ahead and head up front. We'll take a look at our bedroom. In the bedroom of our 2400, we do have two entryways on either side of the bed. And then right here at the foot of the bed is going to be your nice pocket doors. That way you can go ahead and slide those shut, giving you some extra added privacy. Also right here, you do have space for a TV. So if you do want a TV in the bedroom, you can go ahead and have one installed right there. And of course you can go ahead and watch that when the doors are shut. Now right here is going to be our queen bed. This does have storage underneath. This will go ahead and lift up just like so. So you get two very nice large compartments right there. Also, all around the bed, you have wonderful storage. On both sides, you're gonna have this nice, large uh, mirrored wardrobe. Open that up, you have a hanging rod in there, which is perfect for hanging clothes. Then you have the storage all across the top here with the nice tinted glass. Now, right underneath the wardrobes, you do have a couple shelves. Uh, the one on this side is actually going to be a little bit larger, uh, but you do have electrical outlets on both sides. So if you need to charge your cell phone at night, you can certainly do that. However, if you do sleep with a CPAP machine, I recommend sleeping on this side again as your shelf space is going to be larger to go ahead and fit that machine. 
All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, this is a Passport 2400BH, the 2016 model. This one has the granite interior. It really is a great family floor plan. You have the double wide bunks. You get the outside kitchen with the extra extensions on there, giving you lots of prep space. You get a slide out, you know, that nice big u dinette and all under 4,800 pounds. Definitely something you want to come and take a look at if you want your tow vehicle to be, for example, like a mid-size to large SUV. Again, thanks for joining me. My name's Ian Baker. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video or give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them. And I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.